Arts. Well, joining us now is the former head of MI6, Richard Dearlove. Richard, Israel has one of the most sophisticated militaries on the planet, but it seems to have been caught completely off guard. How on earth could they have missed this? I think the simple statement probably is too much reliance on technical intelligence collection and not sufficiently good human penetration of the senior ranks of Hamas. Interesting. Um, Richard, really good to have you on. Spoken to you many, many times. Um, they've also talked about how the domestic political situation, Netanyahu, not the most secure of prime ministers over the last few months, trying to bring in new laws, certainly about the judiciary, mm. eye off the ball. As, a, as an intelligent expert, the world looks on at this ensuing horror and would say, yes, the Israelis have been caught out, but this has to have been a collaboration beyond the borders, surely, of Israel. Hamas, yes, managed to parachute those people in those horrific images at the music festival. Do you believe, from your experience, that this involves other countries like Iran? We hear today about Hezbollah potentially getting involved. This has the hallmarks, does it not, of ISIS-like behaviour from Hamas? I'm strongly of the view that Hamas could not have planned this on their own. I think there has been almost certainly a significant Iranian hand in this. I mean, the Iranians have a very sophisticated intelligence capability, primarily the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, and they almost certainly, I must have, I'm convinced that they would have had a huge hand in the planning and the preparation. I mean, Hamas, I don't think, could deceive the Iranians, uh, uh, sorry, the Israelis to this degree. Mm. Um, no, it's just, it, it, it's unthinkable in my view. Uh, Richard, Hamas has taken hundreds of Israeli hostages. What kind of intelligence do you think will be collected or has been collected over the, the past few days to try and retrieve those hostages before, to what all intents and purposes, may be an all-out war in coming days? Well, look, I don't think you can generalise about hostage situations. Everyone <clears throat> is different. And, uh, you know, the hostages will have been split up into small groups. They will all be separated. They'll be in underground tunnels. And this is a massive problem for the Israelis to try to recover their hostages. And I don't think you can generalise, mm. you know, from, from, from other examples. Do you <clears throat> believe all-out war is inevitable, Richard? And slash, if it is, what part will England, uh, our defences, our intelligence services and across the world play in terms of supporting the Israelis, do you think? Well, we will have an intelligence relationship with Mossad, with Shin Bet, and we'll, we'll assist them <clears throat> to the extent that we're capable, where we have relevant information past them. And I mean, uh, that's obviously sensitive and that's subject to government approval as to how that relationship is conducted. Um, but you, you talk about a general war. I think there will be an anxiety throughout the Middle East and probably even on Israel's part not to see this escalate and spread into more general conflict. Mm. But it's going to be uh, you know very tough for the Israelis if they enter Gaza, which they're almost certainly going to have to do. Richard, in your opinion and with your experience, has the threat level over here in the UK increased at all now that, that our Prime Minister has spoken in such positive terms about Israel and, and really shown allyship there? Could there be an increased threat level over here in the UK, particularly for a Jewish population? Well, I think that in terms of the terrorist threat in the UK, there will be individuals, there will be in extremists who might well be motivated by that. Um, I mean, large-scale general conspiracies, this is always a problem, but I think you have to distinguish between something that's highly organised that takes time to put together or the lone wolf. And maybe what we're talking about immediately is more likely some lone wolf attacks mm -hmm. who are motivated by the situation uh, in Gaza, in Israel. Uh, Richard, dear love, thank you very much indeed for joining us on Talk Today. Nick